Alright everybody, so in this video I'm going to go over how you can set up email campaigns to retarget your leads based on specific actions they take here on system.io. So I created a uh, short slide to include some information, that way I don't miss anything. So why would you need this? This is important because once you have somebody's lead information, like their personal information, you're able to actually leverage that to create more conversions. Sometimes we just think of emails as kind of promo emails where whenever we launch a product, we send out email and we get conversions, but there's other ways we can maximize this data. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to retarget them based on specific behavior they did on our funnel. So that's going to help with conversions and it's going to help people actually take people to the next step of your funnel, which is important. Things to look out for, uh, segmenting is a big thing when it comes to retargeting because you're able to specifically define who you want to target with a specific email and it becomes more personalized. And um, you're also able to kind of exclude people that already bought certain products that we eat you get super niche down to the member and they they just feel like you're talking to them directly, right? So that's important when it comes to this. Another thing here is like one specific call to action in your emails. So each one of these retargeting emails is supposed to take people to the next step of your funnel. We're not trying to get them to the end of the funnel, we're just trying to get them to that one next step. So if you have that mindset when you start running these, it's gonna help you create those conversions that we're, we're after. So here's some things that we will need. We're gonna need three email, uh, three email tags and two email campaigns. So in this case, I'm going to be running this for a tripwire funnel here. As you can see, we have a lead magnet, tripwire page, uh, order form, upsell, and then thank you page. A typical tripwire funnel, common and a lot of niches, actually courses, coaching, e-commerce, all types of different products. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up for one of these funnels here. If we're setting one of those up, we're gonna need three tags here. One of them is if they purchase, that way we know who purchased and who did it. One of them who uh, a tag that shows us who viewed the cart, that way we can distinguish between who purchased and who just landed in the page. And uh, one of them for the new lead. So every time somebody subscribes to the lead capture page, we're able to track that as well. For the funnel campaigns, we're gonna have two here. One of them is a welcome upsell campaign. This one's for when somebody subscribes to a lead page. So let me just show you, somebody subscribes here on this page we're able to tag him as a new lead and that way we can keep track of them that they actually entered this funnel and now we're trying to push them all the way through. Another one is the car abandonment campaign here. This one's the one when we can see if they landed in this order form or if they bought or if they didn't buy. If they didn't buy, then we're gonna trigger that campaign. That way we get them back on this order form and be able to upsell them. And then obviously we get the upsell here, which is gonna help out, but we first need to get them to enter their payment information here. All right, so that's pretty much all we need. So three tags, two email campaigns. So this is how it will work. So here's a typical tripwire funnel. When they enter this, this lead capture page, we're gonna tag them. It's gonna trigger a campaign, that welcome upsell campaign, give some value, give them the download, and then try and push them to this tripwire page where they're gonna get more information about the, the upsell that you're trying to sell after that lead capture. And here is pretty much like the mini sales page, maybe a video as well. And then here, if they if they show interest here, they're going to click the buy now button, which is going to send them to the order form page here. So now when they, when they land this order form, we're going to tag him as they viewed this cart. So they were interested enough to actually go to the order form. But maybe something happened here where they didn't want to buy. All right. So that's that's why we add this tag. And then we also add if they purchase, they if they, if they actually enter the credit card information, we tag them as purchase as well. So now they tag, they view this cart and they purchase. And now we're able to kind of segment that as non-purchasers and people that just, uh, people that bought and people that just landed on the page but didn't buy. So that's a, pretty much the whole like simple process here. It could be way more complicated, but I try to keep it super simple because I'm gonna be, be getting more advanced in this in future videos. But for now, that's pretty much it. So here's the workflow we're gonna set up. This is just a screenshot of the actual workflow, which I'm gonna show you right now. Um, so this is how we're gonna set it up. Let me just go actually to the workflow section here. So this is on system.io, this is the actual workflow page here. And let me, uh, let me see. All right, so when somebody subscribes to the lead capture page, which is this one here, in the automation rules for that page specifically, we're, gonna, we're actually gonna add that tag. We're gonna add the funnel new lead campaign. And when I say funnel here, I usually, from all my other workflows, I like to, instead of just writing funnel, I would write the name of the funnel specifically. 
that way I can go back and actually know what that tag is for and what funnel it's for. And I, I like to add like new leads just because it is a new lead. So it just keeps things organized as well. So just when you see here funnel here and these tags, just know that that's where the name of the funnel will actually be in my system.io account at least. All right, so let's see. So we were here where we in the automation rules for the page, you're gonna add like add, you're gonna go to automation rules, you're gonna create a rule that adds a tag for new lead. So that's gonna trigger that campaign, the welcome upsell campaign that we're gonna set up in the campaigns area. That way it starts sending out these emails here. One, two, three. And all these emails are meant to take people to this page here, the tripwire page, which is pretty much a sales page for the actual product you're trying to sell. And then, um, so that, that should happen immediately, right? They should actually land on this page right after this lead magnet page. So we know they view this page when they enter that, that email there. So we're gonna wait 30 minutes to, just to see if they purchased or not. So after 30 minutes, we're gonna check if the person actually purchased here. So that's when they land on this page. So on the automations, on the automation settings for this page, the order form and your funnels area on system.io, we're gonna add these two tags here. So here in 30 minutes, we're gonna check if, if this new lead actually got one of these tags added as well. So if they added funnel purchase and they actually purchase, we're gonna unsubscribe them from that welcome to campaign just because we we know they purchased and why would they want more emails about buying that product, right? If they didn't purchase it, then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna check if they viewed, if the tag is added funnel viewed cart. So that means if they didn't purchase, but this tag was added, it means that there, there was someone interested because they clicked through here on this, this buy now button, right? So if that's the case, then we're gonna subscribe into the funnel car abandonment campaign, which we created as well. But we didn't create it in this video, but I mean, if you, have, if you guys have more specific questions, uh, you can let me know if you're in my course, actually, you can actually get a car abandonment email campaign template. You can just copy and paste. So, uh, but yeah, just wanna let you know that this is just a high level overview. So we're gonna subscribe in there and then we're gonna wait a day to see if they purchase, right? We're gonna, so we're gonna add a delay here. And if they, after a day, we check again and they actually purchased our product, whatever it is that we're selling here, we're gonna actually unsubscribe them from this campaign because we don't want them to receive those anymore. And we're gonna unsubscribe them from the welcome campaign because we're not trying to sell them anymore, right? They already purchased. And then if they didn't, if this tag wasn't added uh, the next day, then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna wait another day. And then we're gonna check again. All right, who was, was this product purchase? If yes, then we're gonna unsubscribe them again. Unsubscribe from the, so the welcome and the car abandonment sequence. And you can do this over and over again until your campaign ends or whenever it is that you feel it's, it's enough, <laughs> enough emails that you're trying to send out. Uh, but that, that's the, pretty much the high level overview of how to do this with this workflow here. And like I said, I try to make it super simple in this video, give you guys a general concept because a lot of people know, know how, know that there's a workflow area in that system and they know they can add tags, but sometimes they just don't know how to actually maximize them to create conversions. So hopefully this video helps. If you guys have any questions, make sure to message me on Facebook or email me at boulevard at funnelvibe.com. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video.